Hello Pisces, welcome to your reading with me, Cindy. So Pisces, we're going to get down and dirty with the tarot, honey. We're just pulling out the cards. We're going to see what the message is. I am using a couple of oracle decks. No, I don't remember what they're called. So let's just get into it. I'm going to look at energy outside of you and your energy. Let's see what happens here. I had to like cleanse my entire room, my body, my cards after I did Aquarius this reading. What a crap. All right, Pisces, my piscuses. My spicy friends. I'm going to look at an energy outside of you and your energy. Always good to know what's going on outside of you. Especially if it's not so good. Okay. Energy outside of you. Redemption. Somebody wants to redeem themselves. Probably, perhaps, with you. Get that right away. Somebody wants to redeem themselves with you. And you are, whoa, I don't need to take any more of your abuse. Thank you very much. What the hell? Envy and trust. Okay. Now, I don't know. We'll have to pull out more cards. Um, okay, you right now, you've been through it. You've been through it. Maybe you're going through it. Uh, definitely not wanting to be incredibly vulnerable with anyone um the person that wants to redeem themselves i i don't know if this is somebody that has already like been abusive and i say abusive like there's a lot of different levels of abuse there's um intellectual mental emotional physical and probably a lot that i haven't even named off so whatever that might be showing up for you um, kind of feel it, right? Like, okay, now, envy and trust are the underlying here. So I can see trust being an issue for sure, particularly with the abuse card. But somebody wants to redeem themselves with you. So there's also the sense that you may not trust this. Now, who has the envy? I'm not sure. I'll tell you right now, though, this person in redemption looks like they're holding all the cards. They've got, like, tons of gold here. They've got all the candles, the light, the warmth. Where your energy here, you're at, like, the blue lagoon. The blue, misty, cloudy lagoon. The sun. Or the sun. The moon. Um, I want to say that's almost like your sun. Like the nighttime, the moon energy, the moon card in the tarot, your intuition, like following your intuition, use your intuition, Pisces in this for sure, I'll clarify the envy card, I mean, you might have some envy to someone else who's in a better position than you are, and maybe you feel abused by this person who's in, sitting in a better position position than you are because you don't have much here she's covering up her little booby well it's not really little but she's covering up even like she doesn't even have enough clothes to cover that up she's just in like almost like this fishnet material so it almost feels like too that you've been caught in other people's nets in the past and trying to like cover yourself her head is shaved as well that's not just pulled back her head has been shaved and the the ponytail is like the latter part of the hair on the crown of her head there. I feel like in some ways too, like you may even at times, you may have transformed your hair somehow, but I do feel like there's, um, the way she's also like covering up an obvious like sexual feminine area, it's like trying to, Trying to look different. Trying not to draw attention as well. Yeah, I feel like if anyone has envy, I think it's probably you. But only because, like, I don't know. This, this person who wants to redeem themselves with you, they look like they got it all going on. And you don't have much but you've been through it so either there's just a sense of you don't trust much right now um yeah let's see okay let's keep pulling oh this is the um i can tell you this is a divine animal 
oracle. Oh, maybe this is the dark goddess. Yeah, that's the dark goddess. <laughs> there, look at that. Huh? I do know, sort of. Redemption and abuse. So redemption is outside of you and your abuse. And hopefully you're not abusing anybody. Well, that's possible too. So we'll see where this goes. Oh, shit. What is this? Oh, what is going on? You know, I feel like... I feel like the readings that I've been doing lately, like they're very structured and they're about spiritual growth and all this stuff. And there's a lot of focus on the self, like yourselves in those readings. And I thought I need to switch it up a little bit. I like, I really felt compelled to use the decks that I'm using and to just split it up and energy outside of you and you. And I feel like it's timely. I feel like it's important. I feel like there's people around some of you that do not necessarily always have the best intentions. So you have hyena and fear is the energy outside of you. I do feel like this this energy outside of you does have some fears about death and rebirth, like cycle changes, like major changes in life. Um, this person could even be going through a, a major, like maybe, like I'm getting like redemption, also like kind of like judgment, like redeeming themselves to live again in a way. So that's, that's possible. Um, we'll need to see more tarot. Like this energy is, it's a tiny bit similar to Aquarius, but it's not... It's not. It's just, there's something going on here where I feel like there might be some fears. We have the fear card uh, that are going on here. But look at, again, the difference in these two cards. This card has got, like, what to me is more a little bit like your energy. It's just, like, very monochromatic. And there's really nothing there. There's some boats. There's the moon in the sky. It's like, that's it. And it's, like, cold. It's blue. It's cold colors where this is incredibly warm there's a lot of warmth here and then there's so much warmth on this side i am picking up a little bit that there's somebody who wants to connect with you who has a lot of this warmth and perhaps they've been through something that was uh like this state that i see you in it just looks cold right it looks really cold because she doesn't have much on and this is going from, from that energy, from grayness, from depletion to abundance. Oh, crazy. You have the song lines in the orca again. I really feel like your energy, Pisces, that you've been healing like your inner child with abuse and this young child, right, that the orcas are trying to connect with. It also has sort of like that orphan feeling. She also feels a little bit rebellious to me, the way she shaved her head and she's got this strong makeup around her eyes and she's looking back and nobody can look at her. Um... But I look at these two cards and I see like this little girl inside of her. And I think that's the part that you're working on. You may, okay. There's, there's definitely a lack here and whatever that is. It could be a lack financially. It could be a lack emotionally. It could be a lack of stability. It could be all of the above. Um, it could be a lack of people that you can trust or you've been able to trust in life but i really do feel because this energy is big and it's warm but i do feel like it and some in some ways this person might want to bring like warmth to you because of the like going from this depletion to this light but i, I really feel like you you don't necessarily trust envious of wow look at all that you have or look at all that you have to offer the truth with the jackal i love that because that would be um anubis right the truth wow it's a powerful energy 
what is the truth and perhaps that is trying to understand the truth and different dynamics that you encounter like with this all right Tarot de la Nuit I remember that one one of my favorites I haven't used it in a while might even see like um people with great abundance and feel like oh aren't you lucky like you haven't had to go through what i've been through there is a possibility that this person has whatever this energy is with this if they haven't i really don't think it bothers them that you're in this grayness oh, the angels of the new week came out the angel of the night on their side. Look at how they're both holding their hand to their breast. So maybe this person has been through something similar or this energy has been. Did I split that? Seven of Pentacles, the Chariot. Wow, this this energy out here has been through something. It's had to guide itself through darkness. I want to say too, there's a sense that this person may have even like abused themselves a little bit, and even abusing themselves a little bit. I feel like here is seeing themselves as like the Black Swan. Like, but not seeing that as something kind of really good and really unique and unusual, but almost even allowing other people to put them down or not recognize them for the wonderful energy that they actually have. I think this energy, this is not at all like that Aquarius reading. Um, you're just, because of your energy, like you may have difficulty recognizing I want to say sort of like uh, areas of safe harborage, you know, like with this ocean scene here. And this person knows how to like replan again, to make a new plan, create a new strategy to move forward. They've done that before. They've had to like redo things in life. Now, okay, you, you've got, oh shit. You're <laughs> like a... Mean hot bitch with a sharp razor. <laughs> but I, re I really don't think that it's not warranted though. So just, people get upset. I'll say things like, oh, it's too late. I'm five of swords. Like, don't come at me. I cut you. The King of Pentacles. <laughs> it's like cool, honey. It's all cool. Okay. And then the tower. Oh, P Pisces, I don't know that you feel like you know who you can trust right now with these two cards. I mean, you are quick to cut anything out if you need to right now. But this energy is friggin' warm. <laughs> it's really warm. This King of Pentacles energy. It's almost like to take you out of the portal of darkness. <laughs> oh, the sun! As I say that. Look at that. Look at the sun at the bottom to take you out of the portal of darkness. Yeah, like we've talked about them for a bit here. Now, like look at these two cards and they both have like this blue gray energy, this very monochromatic, but like on the blue scale, it's cold. This King of Pentacles, it doesn't feel like it's you. It's something that be between you and the portal. What is this portal? See, this tower is showing up like a portal. It almost feels like a bit of a monolith, like there's information on the other side of this. You're trying to get to something. 
you're trying to get to something, but I feel like there's also an awful lot going on here to protect the inner child, to, to heal the inner child. The inner child sleeps, yet you're awake. So are you dealing with something that the inner child shouldn't even deal with? Right? Like this this is time. Go to, don't look, honey. Mommy needs to cut the monster. <laughs> You're coming from a stage of cutting things that I don't know if you're cutting out the King of Pentacles. I mean, maybe some of you are, but I feel like, no, the King of Pentacles feels like it's on some sort of a journey here through a portal. But you're coming at it like this. I got my cement spike. I'm ready to use it. I miss doing readings like this. This is really interesting shit. This is where you go and you say, oh, humanity is so fascinating. I really want to know about the King of Pentacles and the portal and the monolith. The monolith is on the other side of the portal. It's almost like an information or a knowing that you will discover on the other side of this portal. I wonder if the, like, see, because, okay, I will almost look at this like King, Queen of Pentacles. Like there's all this gold and opulence and abundance around that energy. And of course, the King of Pentacles also has that, right? He's got his castle in the background. It looks like he's about 16 years old, but it's his deck. Oh, it's funny. I went to, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> My Pisces friend and I, we were splitting a personal trainer together. We both have different kind of goals, but we're going to work together because we love each other and, you know, we're going to be really supportive. So, um, and we split the cost. So it's good that way. He's like 20 something years old. I'm like, this guy's a baby. <laughs> baby. That's what this King of Pentacles look like. Okay. The Five of Swords. King of Cups, the Hierophant, the Hanged Man, the Fool. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. You've cut some stuff out here. Um, You've been cutting. <laughs> you've been cutting. You've been slicing. You've been doing whatever you got to do. Because that's the Five of Swords, too. you could doing whatever you got to do in whatever way you need to do it. But always try to keep it legal and whatever your moral level is. Um, The King of Cups and the Hierophant. There's, okay, with the, the hanged man and the fool, I feel like the combination of this is that you are looking for depth. You are looking for real depth and you won't commit to anything less than that, right? Like you will observe, you will observe, you might take a chance. I see you here as someone who would take a chance with the fool. You would take a chance on a new beginning, but it really needs to be backed up with some serious depth, a real sense of balance um a real sense of balance i don't know what that is either though like, it's a big booming sound you hear that it's not music they're doing construction over there i think they're pounding the ground um there needs to be commitment here <laughs> it's almost a rhythm the way they're pounding that so you've been cutting shit out. You're not closed off too, but I really do feel like your inner child maybe hasn't even been out to play in a bit. It just has this feeling like these three cards, I would describe it as like if I was watching like a thriller movie and a woman, we'll just say woman because that's what's being depicted here, a mother and a child, right? Um, or running away from the bad men. And some at some point shit gets real. And mommy's got to do something really bad, but she's got to do it to protect her and the child. Like, that's what this energy feels like. And that's when, like, you know, put the little girl to sleep. Just think, not to, or just, you know, go, in, or go into the little cabin, keep the door closed, don't look outside. No matter what happens, don't look outside. There's a feeling of that with your inner child. No matter what happens, no matter what mommy has to do right now. Don't look outside because this could wreck the inner child. Like it's really protecting the inner child. And with this, I mean, this is like, you need to cut a bitch. Honey. You need to cut a bitch because that's, that's my cut a bitch card. Um, 
I'm sorry, because I know sometimes some of my Pisces get upset with swearing. My Cancerians love it. <laughs> my Cancerians and the Geminis love it. Um, yeah, like, but now here's the, the key to this too, right? Like you've been protecting the inner child within you through something. And I feel like that's why you're not completely closed off to certain experiences moving forward with the Fool card. But, you know, mommy's been through it. <laughs> mommy's been through it. Mommy knows where to find the monsters. So mommy's looking <laughs> to make sure it's not a monster. That's kind of how that feels. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so the Mr. King of Pentacles. I hear him like he's like, I'm not a monster. <laughs> the King of Pentacles. We'll see. The cards will tell us. Oh. Oh, he's not a monster. He's looking for his um, his queen. Actually, literally, you have the star, you have the queen of pentacles and the king of swords. Now, this king of swords, a lot lately for me, is coming out like rules and regulations and laws, and it is written as such. So that coming out with the star and the queen of pentacles, the king of pentacles is looking for his queen of pentacles. So this energy is looking for someone that is their counterpart, someone that is sent to them from the heavens where it is written. So it is that. That's some deep shit. <laughs> really some deep shit. So then you go through the portal. And you hit the monolith with the king of pentacles. It's a tower. What is it to be gained in the tower? You have the devil. Now this came out, I saw it flip right after to the Two of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. Okay, there's something to know here that you don't know, right? With the Two of Swords. And with the Devil, does that connect to someone wanting to redeem themselves with you? That's curious. So I want to say, I think this King of Pentacles either is someone who wants to redeem themselves with you. And there's like some kind of earth shattering knowledge to find out about it. Could, you could have met this person at work with the Eight of Pentacles and then the Eight of Wands. There's knowledge. There's definitely some knowledge to be gained here. I feel like when you don't know how to pass the threshold of the devil, or like I'm seeing like someone get the chain off of them from the devil, there's there's definitely, so maybe even the King of Pentacles has some knowledge here, like with the Eight of Pentacles, this like, um, they will, I don't know how I, I just went like totally blank, like <laughs> left my head. Sometimes that makes me a good tarot reader, oracle. But other times, like, can we connect again? Can I bring my brain back online? Why have I lost the word for that? Where did it go? Maybe it's not important. So that's not the message. Okay, yeah, that's what's happening. I have to get off that. That's not the message. So there isn't something, like, perfected or... Yeah. Something to do with work and the Eight of Wands communication this eight of wands is never a good communicating card there's a lot going on but the the gist of what needs to be known is not coming through oh i'm still going here i want to look at your this is fascinating this story this is like a movie it feels like a movie with this abuse the five of swords cut it out any way you can and protect the inner child Abuse. Mental abuse. Because we got a lot of swords. You got the Queen of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. This is like, okay, because we're looking to see what that is. This is a mental abuse that causes emotional disconnection. It causes emotional disconnection. I do feel like, though, you are walking away from... Like, right? Like, it's just walking the other way from this Queen of Swords and the Page of Swords. There might be something you've learned enough about something. You've gained enough knowledge about something. Um, the Eight of Cups, you're walking away from that. Now, I do not feel like you're completely disconnected emotionally. 
Mm. You may not. Okay, this might be something too. This could be a relationship that you invested a lot in. There was, there was at some point a lot of depth in this relationship. And like freeing yourself from that. The Orca storylines with this tiny little child. Song lines, storylines, that's interesting too. The Ace of Cups, the Six of Swords, the Chariot, okay. You are on the, on the pursuit of more emotional depth here in experience. The, and you have been trying to protect your inner child, like, right? To make sure that it's available for the Ace of Cups. The Six of Swords, where the universe is about to try to take you. You're open to that, where the universe is going to take you. And the Chariot, you have no freaking idea where this is going. But, wow, that's interesting. That is an interesting, yeah, storyline there. Going through something... Don't look right now, honey. Mommy got to kill the monster. <laughs> Redemption. Redemption. There's a lot of feminine energy in this reading, and there are quite a few. I think there's more feminine than masculine, but there are quite a few masculine depictions in this deck. Um, obviously, with the dark goddess night, goddess, dark goddess, yeah, deck, there's, it's goddesses. Um... But even like even this deck, so what I'm getting at here, like there's masculine and feminine, is it's almost like it has a little bit of that. Um, and this is whether you're masculine or feminine or anything in between. It's got that feeling of um, Lilith. It has that feeling of Lilith here, like having to fight through things that you believe in but others don't see the value in a little bit like that and that could come in in a lot of different ways like this could also come in to you know what you believe like what your belief system is too with the queen of swords and the page of swords and the eight of cups like walking away like i can't i can't invest in this anymore that's not um yeah i can't do that so whatever that is like it's your inner child redemption the Two of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Two of Pentacles is like, you know, having a lot on your plate, juggling things, juggling a lot of options. I don't know. Like if you, someone from your past that wants to redeem themselves with you, this person, if like they honestly believe that you are sent from the heavens and it is written, just written, it is written in the stars, it is written in the sky, that you are their person with the King and Queen of Pentacles here. And there's some sort of an epiphany, an earth shattering moment here with the tower. I think in the redemption, so there's knowledge in redemption. I don't know, maybe this person was too busy for you in the past. I don't know, with the two of Pentacles, it could be. You gotta take that as you will. The hyena, fear and the hyena. The nine of swords, this person's in their head. I could see it too. Like if you feel this strongly about someone, or maybe you, maybe you're feeling this. But no, it feels like it's connected to this. Because you're here, you're here with the spike. And then there's the warmth, right? The warmth and the prosperity. Regardless, when you feel this strongly about someone, there is going to be some, I would imagine, some level of anxiety, right? If you want to redeem your, yourself with them. So far, they're not coming up like the Aquarius person. It's just a psychotic mess. Okay, the Angel de la Nuit. This person is the Angel of the Night. The King of Pentacles. The Two of Cups. The Queen of Cups, the King of Pentacles, the Three of Swords. This person has been through some serious heartbreak. I feel like to the Angel of the Night, I feel like this person has kept like this emotional context. And I say context 
all over here with the star, the queen of pentacles and the king of swords. They've kept this emotional information, the context of this, like the, the enormity of it that they perhaps feel um, to themselves, like something that is hidden in the night. And that's being like the heartbreak as well. I don't know who or what this is, but it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Let's keep going. The Seven of Pentacles. Okay, I get like self-abuse with this card. So this person like maybe has not been cutting themselves or, but they may have been really hard on themselves. And that's been part of, okay, I want to say right there, being really hard on oneself because of perhaps past regret. I would get like regret would come ahead of redemption, a, a desire to redeem oneself. And the Seven of Pentacles is um, if you were trying to come up with plans, you know, to, to get things going again in life, to, to try to, to find your success knowing that you've got to have a different approach here. But if you are kind of relying on the approach based on, I shouldn't have done this, I'm an idiot, or what did I do? Or, you know, like it's not going to help you. So for the cross watcher... <laughs> not won't, that you know if you are being hard on yourself the seven of pentacles this person is determined to reach their dream and they are healing they're healing too with the nine of cups okay i feel like if this person has been really different hard on themselves in the past they're healing that okay that's great because as i was saying i don't think that's a great way to try to move any anyone forward if you're just being really hard on yourself. The chariot. This person has a long-term plan. And they're going to work with you on it. <laughs> the knight of pentacles. The three of pentacles. And the ten of pentacles. This is a long-term plan. And they're willing to put the work in. They see the value in what each person would contribute with the Three of Pentacles to build something much bigger beyond. Now, and where would the King and Queen of Pentacles live? <laughs> the Ten of Pentacles castle. Let's look at Envy and Trust. Okay. Which, which, which came first? The apple or the orange? Oh, the other one. Turn the egg. Trust. Trust is the underlying here. The moon, right? Mm. And the page of cups. The page of cups is the one page that if you were going to attach like um, an apology or a redemption in a way would be the page. And with the moon, it's like trying to use your intuition. You know, can you trust certain ways that people come towards you? And it's also those starting with a small cup. Starting with a small cup. And I would say that would be the first step in trying to achieve, like, the ace of cups that the inner child can come out. It's okay now, honey. All the monsters are gone. You can come out and play. Envy. The Knight of Swords, Judgment, and the Queen of Wands. Somebody here could be envious. I, I want to say it doesn't feel like a heavy negative, like envy. I would almost even describe it as um, admiring, maybe. Oh, the truth. we got to get back to that. Admiring? Um, I want to say, like... Because <laughs> to go from the Knight of Swords to a Judgment is kind of like very quickly, without hesitation, striking towards a new beginning for yourself. Like somebody's done this and the Queen of Wands are looking really fucking awesome. <laughs> like just, you know, I'm going to go through the worst shit of my life and I'm going to glow up doing it, honey. <laughs> Watch me do it. Okay. Truth and the Jackal. That, to me, is the energy of getting to the portal to be able to get past it. The Nine of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Oh. 
Well, you might have to cut. Well, I guess you would. I don't know what this is. I mean, literally, it just, it's so distinct here, Pisces. This King and Queen of Pentacles and the Star and the King of Swords. Like, this is meant to be, honey. If you're dealing with someone who's toxic as shit, you can't trust them, like, you keep that out. You keep the, the cement, the concrete spike out. Mm, but if you have a feeling, then maybe it's okay. But, so what I'm saying with the truth card is, you might need to cut out like your sense of independence, uh, doing things on your own. Uh, that's the truth. <laughs> so that's the truth. But then, yeah, you would need to do that to have a plan here and build, right? In collaboration and create something bigger than yourself. And then you have temperance and the ten of wands at the bottom. So somebody here might be waiting, waiting to release a heavy burden. Oh my goodness, Pisces. So I'm going to go do the extended. I'm mm, just pulling out more cards in the extended to see where this goes, Pisces. Thank you so much, my friends. Until next time, do be gentle with yourselves. Bye.